It's Booty Quake here from RollerDerbyAthletics.com, the place online for derby-specific training advice. I've actually adapted this workout from a study that was done on female soccer players. They put 1,300 athletes through this program and they were able to show a 41% reduction in ACL injuries, so it's really significant. I really want to encourage you to visit the blog and read the entire post that goes with this video because in it I'm going to explain how you can adapt these and add these moves into your regular derby routine. The program consists of five sections, a warm-up, strengthening, plyometrics, agility, and then stretching. This is cool because we kind of need to do all of these things anyways for good derby fitness. The whole thing takes about 20 minutes start to finish, but if you read the blog, you'll see how you can pick elements and add them to uh, what you're already doing with your derby training. All you need to do this workout are a timer, just any old regular stopwatch will do. Um, I like to use the timer on my phone and a rolled up hand towel. Okay, so the first step is a warm up. And I've already just done that. Um, if you do about 90 seconds, I did some jogging in place, some high knees, some bum kicks, um, and some jumping jacks. Whatever you do for 90 seconds, make sure that it has some aspect of lateral movement to it. So jumping jacks are good, or you could do some kind of stepping like that. Or if you have more space to work with, obviously go nuts. So we're gonna go straight into part two, which is strength. Uh, now, the first exercise is walking lunges, which are really hard to do in a small space and on camera, so I may have to modify a little bit. Um, but here's what it's going to look like. You're going to lunge forward with your left foot and into a low, deep lunge. Now, you want to have your front shin vertical and you want your back thigh vertical, okay? So you don't want to be stretched out like this with your back leg and you don't want to have your front leg, front knee, too far over your heel, over your toes, okay? So try to be in this position. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step down into that position and then up and then keep going with the other foot and then I'm off screen and keep going, okay? So again, making sure that as you go down, your knee tracks straight front and back over your toe and you don't want to see it cave in, okay? So don't lunge and let your knee cave into the center. And as you lunge, try to watch and make sure your knee isn't going wibbly wobbly all the way down. You should go a nice straight line, okay? So that's walking lunges, you do them for 30 seconds. So the next thing is calf raises, and you're gonna do this on one foot, okay? So stand on one foot, lift up the other knee, hold on to your ear, because I find that that gives you really good balance. I don't know why, but it works. Okay, and then just rise up and down, up and down, okay? So this is definitely gonna test your balance. Tuck in your core, pull that in if you're having trouble balancing, okay? And just up and down, you're gonna do 30 on the first foot, 30 on the other foot, and then you're done. We're moving on to part three. For part three, you're gonna need your rolled up towel. This is the plyometric section. Plyometrics basically just means jumping, okay? So the first thing is lateral hops on two feet. Okay, so you've got your rolled up towel, you just put it on the floor next to you, stand on two feet, and you're gonna jump over it back and forth, side to side for 30 seconds, okay? So it looks like this. The second one is uh, forward and backward hops. So just as that would suggest, you put your towel down and you're gonna run, jump forward and backwards over it. Okay, I'll do it sideways so you can see. With the whole plyometric section, you wanna make sure that you have soft knees and you're landing on the balls of your feet. Uh, the next one is lateral hops on one foot. So yeah, it's pretty obvious. And a lot harder. Okay, you'll do 30 seconds on your right foot and then 30 seconds on your left foot. So notice that when you've got the towel there, you've got something raised, you really have to pick your feet up to get over it, so that's super great for agility practice for roller derby. The last one in plyometrics is lunge jumps. We're gonna do these for 30 seconds as well. And we're gonna use the exact same form as the walking lunges, so a nice uh, straight knee that isn't caving into the inside. Keep your back knee also kind of right in a vertical line with the rest of your body, with your hips. Okay, so you're going to get into a lunge position and then you're going to jump and switch feet. 
like that, okay? So this one is definitely a little bit tricky with balance sometimes, so use your arms to help you. Uh, if your left foot is forward, then your right hand is forward, and then you switch, switch, switch. The fourth part of the system is called agilities, and it involves a bit of running around. Um, so I'm not going to do that on the video, I'm going to let you read about that on the blog, and that's something that you could incorporate into your uh, pre-skate, off-skate warm-up, or after practice with your team when you've got a little bit of space to run around in. So straight to five, and five is stretching. All right, the first stretch is a calf stretch, and we're gonna do this kind of like a bit of a downward dog kind of style. Just walk your hands out in front of your feet to a comfortable spot, put your feet together, and you're going to bend one foot and stretch out the other one, and put your heel, so I'm putting my right heel on the ground right now, um, and the right leg is the one that I'm stretching. And if I lean back a little bit further, I get more of a stretch. And then you'll switch legs and you'll hold that stretch on each foot for 30 seconds. Next up is a quad stretch. So I'm pretty sure you guys all know this one. Hold on to your ear for balance. And you should be able to touch your heel to your bum. If you can't, then that's a sign that your quads are too tight and you need to spend more time stretching your quads. 30 seconds, switch legs, 30 seconds again. Figure four, hamstring stretch. So you are going to stretch one foot out in front of you, pick up your other foot and cross it over the outstretched knee and flex that foot because that protects your knee from injury. And then with a straight back, lift up and lean forward and lean forward over both your legs. Okay, then we're gonna do an inner thigh stretch. So, do a little side split action here. Stretch your legs out to wherever's comfortable for you. I happen to be really flexible, so don't let that bother you. Um, and you're going to lift up, and with a very straight back, reach forward. So you can just walk your hands out to where it's comfortable. And you're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. Then you're gonna take your right arm over to your right foot, and your left arm over, and just like a ballerina, do that one for 20 seconds, and then switch to the other side. In that lunge position, you're gonna keep really nice square hips and just lean forward. You wanna make sure that your hips stay forward, kinda like if you're on a mat like me, that your hips are square with your mat, so you're not opened up like this, okay? Square hips, 30 seconds on one knee, 30 seconds on the other, and then you're done. That was the Happy Knees workout. I would really like to hear from you about what you'd like to get out of these videos and the blog. So I hope you'll do me a favor and go over to rollerderbyathletics.com and leave me a comment below this video and let me know if there's another area that's injury prone that you would like some advice on. I'm Booty Quake, and I wish you a season full of happy, healthy knees. Ciao.